Everybody knows the marshmallows you buy in a grocery store. They're a little rubbery, not a lot of flavor. I thought it was a revelation when I discovered homemade marshmallows because they're these big puffy clouds of vanilla and sugar that just like melt in your mouth. They're fantastic and they're surprisingly easy to make. So you start with half a cup of cold water and three packages of plain gelatin. Just dump them right in. Cold water is critical for having it dissolve. And just let it sit for about five minutes. I'm just gonna stir it around. These are really delicious, but they're also a great little gift. People are so surprised to get homemade marshmallows. Okay, that's the gelatin next to sugar syrup. First is one and a half cups of granulated sugar. Right into a pot. And I've got it all set up with a candy thermometer because I'm gonna have to cook this. One cup of light corn syrup. You wanna use light corn syrup because I'm making white marshmallows. Quarter of a teaspoon of salt. It's always surprising when sweet things have salt in it, but it really brings out the flavor of the vanilla. And half a cup of water. So I'm just gonna turn the flame on. Just give it a stir, because you don't want the sugar to burn at the bottom. And I'm just gonna cook this until it gets to 240 degrees exactly on a candy thermometer. Marshmallows may be for children, but if children are making them, they need a little adult supervision because this is really hot. So I always watch it very carefully. Excellent, 240. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take the gelatin that's been softened and put it in a mixer, fit it with a whisk attachment. It's really important for the gelatin to be softened first. And then I wanna pour the sugar syrup into the mixer, but since it's really, really hot, I always find it's a little safer to put it into a glass beaker. Just make sure it's very heat proof. The last thing you want to do is get sugar syrup all over you. Just slowly pour the sugar syrup into the softened gelatin. As I'm pouring the sugar syrup in, I'll slowly raise the speed. I don't want to start it on high, otherwise I'm gonna have sugar syrup all over me. I'm gonna let it go for about 15 minutes until it's cooled. And then I'm gonna add the vanilla. Okay, so the marshmallows are actually done. Wait till you see this, it's amazing. So who knew that gelatin and sugar syrup could end up looking like that? Isn't that fantastic? And that's gonna become the marshmallows. But first, I wanna give it lots of flavor. So I'm gonna add a tablespoon of pure vanilla extract. And you wanna add it on low speed because you don't want it splashing all over the place. Okay, that's it. So, this is how I get them ready. I have an eight by 12 pan and take confectioner's sugar and dust it very generously over the bottom of the pan. I'm not baking it in the pan. What I'm doing is I'm just letting it sit overnight so it hardens a little bit. And then, this is gooey stuff. Good though. This is really the essence of vanilla and sugar. And now I'm just gonna pour it right into this pan this mixture will make 20 really large marshmallows or 40 small ones. So I'm gonna smooth this out. Perfect. And I'm gonna dust the top with more confectioner sugar. You want a really generous coating of confectioner sugar on top, otherwise it's almost too sticky to handle. Perfect. These are just gonna sit uncovered overnight, so they dry out just a little bit, and then tomorrow I can cut them into squares. Next to the homemade marshmallows, these are so good. So just run a knife around the outside. Hopefully they'll just fall out. Fantastic. I'm just gonna cut this in squares, then I'll put a lollipop stick in each one, wrap it, and it'll be ready for Dylan. Okay, right in. Actually, that's pretty cute. 